Good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be looking at a new Pachirisu card, which is going to be coming out in the Pokemon trading card game in the not-too-distant future. It is in Sun and Moon 7A Thunderclap Spark in Japan. That means it is going to be in our Sun and Moon 8 set over here, which will be our November set. And, you know, Pachirisu is a lightning Pokemon, and Thunderclap Spark certainly sounds like a lightning-themed set to me, and it is because of the whole Zero Aura thing. So you know what? We should probably have a little look at this bad boy and what he does. I should say that my translation here comes from the lovely David Hockman. Do be checking out Limitless TCG on a regular basis. It is the best unofficial Pokemon website there is. So we should probably start off looking at the basics and look, it's a Pachirisu, right? So we know that it's going to have very low HP and it does. It's got 70 HP. It's not very nice and it's very, very sad. And we know it's going to have a weakness to fighting, which means a weakness to Buzzwall, and this is not ideal. Now, the one good thing I will say is, if it had 60 HP, it would be one hit KO'd by a Buzzwall with Jet Punch with no modifiers. As it is, it will remain with 10 HP. Problem is that pretty much any Buzzwall deck is just going to have Dianti Prism Star, especially with Brooklet Hill making it so easy to search out. You're just going to straight away grab it, and that is going to be a little bit of a pain. The good news is, in some games, about 1 in 10, Dianti Prism Star will be prized. So if Tiny Prism Star is prized, Boswell won't get a one-hit KO on this. But that is about the most we can say. Retreat cost of one is really nice because you've got a skateboard to give you free retreat post-rotation. Although, as we're going to see, a skateboard is, um... Well, let's just say it, it does as much harm as it does good to this particular Pokemon. And a resistance to metal is quite good with stuff like Registeel. But you got 70 HP. Resistance isn't exactly doing a huge amount for you when you've only got 70 HP. The good news is, even though there's only one attack here, it is an absolutely interesting attack in the extreme. Now, it initially does 20 damage, which is fine. It's not great. It's just fine. But then, if your opponent's active has a tool attached to it, you may choose to discard this tool. And if you do, it does an extra 40 damage. And automatic paralysis. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is another one of those Pokemon that can get automatic paralysis. None of this coin flip malarkey. Because let's face it, Froakie and Bubble saw a lot of mileage in the past couple of formats. And that was on a coin flip. And they weren't even playing Victini to give themselves a 75% chance of hitting their heads. They were just going for it. Here, you've actually got a Pokemon that will just straight away flat out paralyze. Now, of course, the first thing to note here, your opponent can just go, oh, oh, and well, in that case, I won't attach at all. But, and this is something I've said a lot, and it's starting to come back around again lately. If your opponent is deliberately not attaching a Pokemon tool card that they want to attach to try and spite you, that is absolutely brilliant. Because essentially here, right, you're sitting there and you've got Pachirisu on the bed. So your opponent always knows that that is an option. They might really need to attach a choice band in order to get a KO on one of your Pokemon. Let's say a Zero Aura. Well, that's great here because... If they attach it to get the KO on Zero Aura, that gives you that automatic paralysis with Pachirisu straight afterwards. So you end up in this brilliantly tense standoff with your opponent, where essentially they have the annoying choice of, I can attach this tool, but then I leave myself open to paralysis, or I don't attach this tool, but then I don't get what I need to get. And that is where the beauty of Pachirisu comes in here. I mean, you could even potentially not need to play Field Blower in this deck. I mean, I know it's being rotated out, which sucks, but imagine something like Garboda, for instance. Garboda needs a tool attached to it in order to block abilities. So if you're able to gust this up into the active, maybe using something like a Guzma, use Pachirisu, 60 damage plus paralysis. Now, not only have they got a Garboda in the active, but it's paralyzed. 
and the ability's turned off. Now, usually in a situation, and again, we really are talking expanded by the time this comes out, but usually in a situation like that, your opponent is going to dig to find another float stone, attach that float stone, and off they go. Oh, no, wait. They can't do that because they're paralyzed. And this is probably the point in the video where I mention a skateboard and I get very, very sad. Because Flowstone is rotating when we hit September. Which means we're all going to be left with a skateboard. And the problem with a skateboard is, well, the problem for you as the Pachirisu player, it allows you to retreat if you are paralyzed or asleep. And I've made this point in a number of videos lately. This is going to make it much harder for Pokemon that rely on special conditions, and unfortunately Pachirisu is one of them, to really gain some traction. This is not going to be good, because now your opponent can just attach an escape board and retreat. The other thing is, everyone's playing Guzma at the moment, and with everybody playing Guzma, that gives everyone a couple of extra switches to get around this paralysis, which sucks. And Ace Roller is still sitting out there, and Ace Roller is another way to get round it. So we've got a bunch of ways to get round it, but Automatic Paralysis is always good. Ixalgor was good, Vanillox was good. Alright, Vanillox wasn't technically Automatic Paralysis, it gave you a 15 in 16 chance. You could whiff it if you hit Double Tails twice in a row, but it was technically possible. And I even mentioned Froki earlier, which is not Automatic Paralysis, but it was good enough that people used it. Paralysis is nice. Maybe we're in a format at the moment, or going into a format, where it's just not as viable as it used to be, but it's certainly something we need to bear in mind. Now, in terms of the damage, you're essentially hitting 60 here, which is annoying, because the Pokemon you are most reliably hitting for weakness is Ho-Oh, and with a choice badge, you'll be doing 90, which doubled for weakness goes up to 180. And you'll notice that Ho-Oh -Oh has 190 HP. Now, there is this Forbidden Shrine Stadium I keep talking about, which I really like the look of, which essentially puts one damage counter on each Pokemon EX and GX between turns. You can use that. But now you're talking into awkward territory. Now they've got to have a tool attached, and you've got to have a choice band, and you've got to have a forbidden shrine. This is all getting a little bit awkward. Although I should mention here, while we're talking about stadiums, Thunder Mountain's really nice here. Because this is that new stadium, because Thunderclap Spark is very much a lightning-friendly set. This is a new stadium whereby all of your lightning Pokemon's attacks cost one lightning energy less. So with this in play, Pachirisu is actually attacking for zero energy. It's a free attack, which is pretty sick. And while we're talking about little electric things here, how about Electro Power? That lovely new item, which means that your lightning attacks do an extra 30 damage, or attacks all of your lightning Pokemon do an extra 30 damage. So I know I just talked out about, oh, you'd have to use Forbidden Shrine. Well, actually here, and I don't think you should, but if you used four of these in one go with Pachirisu, then you would actually be hitting up to 180 damage. I don't think that's necessarily the best plan. Seems like a slight waste of your Electro Power, but it's technically a possibility. And the thing to remember about Pachirisu is it's not always going to work. There are going to be plenty of games where your opponent just sits there going, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, jokes on you, I'm not attaching this choice band and then not getting a KO. Ha 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 ha, I'm not going to attach a count again so that I can attack for one colourless energy less if I'm behind on prizes. Darn it! And that's essentially what Pachirisu does. When you catch your opponent with a tool, you do 60 damage and automatic paralysis for one energy, and I don't think there's much argument that 60 damage and automatic paralysis for one energy is great. It's great when it works, it's rarely going to work, but it rarely needs to work, because what you're going to be essentially doing with Pachirisu a lot of the time is just letting it sit on the bench and going, no, I'm good. You, you do your thing. You do your thing and I'm happy. And you are just going to sit there and let your opponent not attach tools. That's what it does. It's a really, really nice Pokemon. Either it's got a really nice attack 
or it's stopping your opponent doing what they would otherwise be doing. Either way, I am absolutely fine with this, and I'm giving it between three and four wassies. We don't give half wassies. That would be barbaric. I am personally quite a big fan of Pachirisu, but I would like to know if you're a big fan of Pachirisu. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, then head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And do check out my Dragable Super slash video game channel, Wassy Plays, for some more Wassy action. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.